I just can't describe how screwed up this is, is showing up to your store on a day where it is six degrees outside and realizing that your store still has no heat. There's still no gas in this building. None. Uh, the management came by and uh, two months ago, maybe a month ago, and they dropped off these three really tiny and completely useless, not powerful at all space heaters that run off of the electricity that, of course, we pay for. Is that supposed to pacify me? It doesn't. It doesn't. It's cold in here. It's freezing. I had to sit in my chair and wait for like five minutes for it to get warm before I could even turn on the stream. This is absolute bullshit. Because if it's six degrees outside, and those space heaters that keep turning off and triggering themselves because they're just not working, or... Oh... It's just, I can only imagine what the temperature is in here. Anyway, so I'm going to try to fix this MacBook here while it's freezing in my office. The MacBook itself feels like it's freezing. This MacBook is as cold as the heart of a Swede that punches you. So let's go through this board and see if we can find anything. Now, as you noticed, we have a lot of pubes on this board. And there's always a lot of pubes on the board because it's a MacBook. It's a MacBook. Of course it's going to have pubes on the board. Pubes are not what troubles me. What's going to trouble me is if we see any sort of signs of liquid damage. Hmm. No, those are just multicolored pubes. So here we have what I would call pubes of diversity. We have pubes over here that are white, pubes over here that are black, pubes over here that are red. There's no heat mean reduction in rent. It means, mm, eh, we'll see. Why don't you take them to court then? Because court in New York City is a gigantic waste of time. The first thing I want to do to bait them is just stop paying rent until I get heat. And hope that that works. And then if that doesn't work, then you go to court. But court is a big waste of time. Court means no fixing boards. Court means... Yeah, court means you're not fixing boards, court means you're not playing Dota, court means you're not streaming, you're just sitting in court. Aha! Green pubes! This is a color that interests me. What are you for, little chip? So this chip over here has to do with Bluetooth. Now, let's ask a simple question here. On a machine that doesn't turn on, do I care about Bluetooth? No. I don't care about Bluetooth. The machine doesn't even turn on. I don't have a chance to care about Bluetooth. Bluetooth is the least of my concerns. We're going to keep going, keep looking around the board, and see if we find anything else. But at this point, we know that the customer, at one point, did get liquid damage on the machine. And you know what they told me when they brought it in? They said there was no liquid damage. Customers always lie. But, that being said. Aha! More green. Look at this. Look at this greenery. What are you? Oh, you're green. You're very green. You're very green. You're as green as Gillette Fusion shaving cream is when you lather it on your face before you throw it away and never use Gillette shaving products on your face again. Uh, so this here has got to go. Because uh, if I show you on the schematic and the board view what that's for, U7501 right here is a power IC. See right over here where it says 5 volt, 3.3 volt power supply? 
This is actually important. It creates the 3.3 volt rail over here, and it also creates the 5 volt rail over here. So we're going to replace that chip with another chip that comes from store.rossmangroup.com. Chips from store.rossmangroup.com. The best a man can get. You may notice this chip doesn't want to come off the board. That's because it's six degrees today and my office has no heating. This chip does not want to leave this board. And this is even after I've put leaded solder everywhere. This is impressive. Okay, as can be seen, it's much more obvious once every th uh, all the uh, old chip that's been removed from the board that that was never going to work because we have a pad over here that's almost completely corroded and gone. Let's see if we can bring that pad back with a little bit of strategic rework. Alright, now you see how all that red stuff that's coming up? That's the board bleeding. The board is bleeding. So we're just going to wipe all that blood away. We're going to suck up all that blood. We're going to remove all that blood, suck it all up into the this T30-KN. See if we can bring that pad back. I'm going to use my T30-KN soldering tip, the best a MacBook board can get. Let's see if we can bring that back. Oh yes, we can. Oh yes, we can. Yes, indeed, my friends, we are going to fix this. This MacBook will work again. You know what's genuinely hysterical to me is that Apple said that this had no liquid damage, but it was just a board failure, which is funny because for the CBC news piece, they said there was liquid damage on a machine that I did not find any liquid damage on. And this is one of the parts that kills me is everybody who says, oh, look, that on the CBC piece, there was a liquid damage indicator. Yeah, but what they don't show you is that I spent a good two minutes going around the board in the microscope camera to show you that there was zero evidence of liquid damage on the board itself, but that did not make its way into the documentary. Oh well, such is life. I kind of wish it did, because I probably have like one or two thousand comments on that, and I've just stopped replying to them at this point. But it's interesting. Like, they really do just go by that little sticker. Like, that machine had a sticker, zero evidence of liquid damage. This machine had no liquid uh, indicators tripped, yet there are just v there are traces that and pads that are totally destroyed, which I'm fixing with a wire. Such a brainless system. And I understand that you need a brainless system for like the, you know the front end retail, but they do take the machine to the back, they open it up, they make it seem like they're actually like troubleshooting it and all that. And in that amount of time, you should be I think that it's reasonable as an expectation for you to be able to see, oh look, there's green corrosion. Oh look, there's no green corrosion. You know. I don't know, what do I know?
I'm just an idiot who thinks that you shouldn't stop somebody on the street if they're approaching somebody when you, before you even know if they actually know each other or have a relationship yet, because that's none of your business. What do I know? What the F do I know? I use Bronner's shaving cream. I'm a pleb. I'm a lowly peasant. I know nothing. I don't even know how to detect liquid damage. Okay. All right, a little messy, a little messy, but we can always fix that. So who's coming to the one million subscriber party bash? Now let me fix my jumper, which is a little out of place. Who am I kidding, a little out of place? Not soldered. Shouldn't be so generous with myself. Okay. Much better. As can be seen, we have fan spin. Of course we have fan spin. We always have fan spin. This is an 8203437, so when you first turn it on from it not having battery power, it's going to turn on, off, on, off, on, off, but the fan spinning is indeed a sign that we have fixed the MacBook. So the 5 volt, 3 volt regulator had liquid damage on it. We removed it, and we were able to see that a pad was almost entirely missing. And looking at the board view that appears to be a pad that deals with the 5 volt rail that wouldn't have been coming on so we uh, took that off we ran a jumper wire we put the chip on cleaned it up made sure our jumper wire was making good contact and now we've got a working motherboard so that's just about all there is to it I really hope that this uh, this kind of stuff gets you interested in opening up your own stuff that's not working and getting to work and making it work again whether it's something that's ridiculously, incredibly complicated, or something as simple as an 11-inch MacBook Air with liquid damage by the DC-in connector, that you open it up, figure it out, and stream it.